So we're going to make a pie chart from the following data. It's eye colour and we've been surveying some students and we have blue, green, hazel, brown eyes and here are the numbers of each student. Now this is a perfect kind of thing for a pie chart. It's perfect because the colours of eyes there, they don't have any hierarchy. There's no reason for green to come in front of hazel or behind blue. So the round nature of the pie chart kind of puts everything on an equal pegging. So the first thing we're going to do is extend our table and uh, put a little column in for the total. We find there's 20 students that we've surveyed. We can figure out the fraction of students that each colour represents, the percent, and ultimately we're going to figure out the angle that we're going to put on our pie chart. So the first thing is we look at the fraction of blue. It's one kid out of 20, uh, it's 1 20th. We can quickly figure out that that is equal to 5% of the total class. With green it's 3 out of 20, it's 15% and so on and we get the percentages and we can do a quick check to make sure they add up to 100%. To figure out the angle we can take that fraction, 5% don't forget is 0 0.05 and multiply that by 360 degrees, that's the full circle and we get 18 degrees as the slice of pi for blue. Uh, repeat the calculation for green, 54 degrees, hazel 72 degrees, and brown 216 degrees. We should do a quick check here, and total of everything should be 360 degrees, that's correct. Okay, uh, so we'll just start by drawing our circle. Draw the circle and put in our starting line. I'm going to put it horizontally, you can put it anywhere. Uh, get a protractor put the protractor, center the protractor at the center of the circle, align the zero degree line with the, uh, on the protractor with the line that we've just drawn and figure out where 18 degrees is. You can see that I'm going to have to put my dot outside of the circle but that's cool. I just join the center of the circle with the edge of the circle along the line that goes past that dot and that's my blue. I repeat the same for green with 54 degrees, center the protractor, put a dot at 54 degrees and make my pie section for green, uh, repeat it at hazel at 72 degrees and what's left should be brown at 216 degrees. It's not the easiest thing to check but you can see um, it's 180 degrees there plus a little bit, just under 40 degrees, 36 degrees, it's pretty close to what that is. Just a second check that uh, we've got our 216 degrees there and I can start colouring my pie chart now. I've got my blue, green, hazel and brown so I can colour code them accordingly, use uh, felt tip pens. There we have it, there's our pie chart created.